Hey team, welcome back to The Pillars. I'm Tech Sergeant Johanna. I'm Dr. Jerry. And Tech Sergeant Jacqueline. We had the privilege of interviewing Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force, Kalitho Wright, again, which is always amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Chief Wright wanted to talk to us this time about goals, specifically the goals that he has for 2019 in both his personal and professional life. It was really interesting to hear how motivated he was mm -hmm. and how enthusiastic he was about identifying and overcoming any potential barriers to um, achieving these goals in a lot of different areas. He talked about fun, mm -hmm. faith, fitness, and family, and I think these are goals that many of us have, uh, but I think we can all benefit from hearing how one of our senior leaders in the Air Force is going to go about trying to achieve those goals for himself in this coming year. Right. It's still early in the year, and maybe you haven't set your goals or resolutions quite yet, so just because it's the 7th and you maybe didn't hit it on the 1st, it doesn't mean that you don't have time to write down or say what you want to say about your resolutions or goals, but let's just take a listen to what Chief Wright has to say. Yeah, hope you enjoy. Hey, teammates, how you doing? It's Chief Wright. Hi, sir. Morning, sir. Chief Wright, thank you so much for uh, letting us interview you again. We really appreciate it, and we've been really looking forward to it. Oh, yeah, thanks for the opportunity. This is great. Awesome. Um, so, sir, we were curious how things have been going since we last talked to you in September. Uh, so, let's see. Things have been going pretty well. So, uh, as always, I've been on the road uh, quite a bit, just finished up a a tour uh, visiting uh, the airmen in the AOR. So we did about 12 days uh, in the AOR. We went to wow. Jordan, Iraq, Turkey, uh, and Afghanistan. Uh, so that went well. Everybody in the AOR is doing pretty good, particularly given <laughs> some of the politics that have been playing out. But uh, overall, so that, that was a, a good trip. Other than that, uh, things have been pretty steady. Uh, you know, chipping away at some of the, the changes that we uh, have been talking about, the uh, higher tenure. I think we got that across the finish line since yeah. the last time we talked. Uh, we're still working on the uh, indefinite enlistment uh, for our airmen uh, that are beyond 12 years' time in service. And, and then the, probably the next big thing that will come out that we've been working on is the elimination of WAPs from CNCO promotions. Wow. So overall, I would say things have been going pretty well. That's pretty <laughs> good, Chief. That's that's not some small stuff you're working on, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so when you look at 2019, where are your um, kind of perspective as far as setting goals for yourself? Uh, so in terms of setting goals for myself, I think there's probably three areas from a, and this is from a from a personal uh, standpoint, and that's uh, family, fitness, faith, and fun. Okay. Um, so I, you know, I want to place a little bit more more focus on not just uh, my, my wife and I and the time that we get to, to spend together, uh, but my extended family. You know, I have brothers and sisters, and and then Air Force friends that I really consider family that I want to uh, do a much better job of staying in touch with and talking to on a, on a, on a regular basis. I think that having a, a good circle of friends and support is, is pretty important. That's awesome. Um, fitness, always, always trying to be in the best shape that I can be in, always trying to be at what I consider my optimal uh, fighting, fighting weight. And, uh, and that comes with, uh, when I talk about fitness, I really mean uh, nutrition and sleep and and kind of an overall fitness theme, theme for me. Um, and then faith, so I want to continue uh, with my prayer and meditation and, and growing in that particular area for me as, as, a, as a person. Um, uh, certainly given, you know, some of the one, the one particular area of resilience where, where I've been focusing and need to see some of, the, um, some of the negative aspects of the Air Force and of the job, you know, faith really comes in. Then. Mm -hmm. And then fun, you know, this yeah. job is uh, like like most jobs in the Air Force, uh, you put in a lot of hours, you put in a lot of time, and, and you got to be able to uh, take some time to yourself and enjoy life and have fun. And I'm going to try to get a, a vacation in sometime this year um, beyond <clears throat> beyond two or three days. I'm going to try to get a full week vacation in, uh, hopefully okay. in 2000. Well, Chief, you're, you're a busy guy, and like you said, you just got back from 12 days in the AOR. How are you going to balance 
all of that together? How are you going to find the time to to do all these great things? Yeah, so, you know, I always say you kind of make time for what's important to you. And uh, so as those are, will be my priorities for the year, you know, I, I make time for, for those, whether it's uh, mostly for my personal stuff. Uh, I'm an early riser, so I can get most of the things that I need to get done uh, early in the morning. And then being intentional uh, with my scheduling and, and with my team. My team actually does a great job of uh, looking out for me and giving me uh, a day off here and there and making sure that I <clears throat> get the, the right amount of uh, time to be able to recoup uh, from from long trips and, and building in, you know, downtime and off time and time in the office after and in between uh, long trips. So it's just a matter of, of being intentional and deliberate about it. If you, if you just sit back and, and wait and hope that something will happen, that you'll get a vacation <laughs> or you'll get a day off, it'll probably never happen. But, right. um, you know, I communicate with the team and, and, they, and they help me kind of maintain the right focus. Chief, how do you keep yourself accountable? Um, so, you know, I write down uh, a lot of things. So I keep a little bit of, I go back and forth between keeping a journal and uh, and then kind of my, my daily planner. And on a regular basis, um, you know, I write down the three things that I want to get done, uh, you know, every single day. And sometimes they're monthly or weekly goals. And then I always go back at the end of the day and, and uh, either check them off or move them to the next day. And uh, I have a little bit of a philosophy that if I move something uh, more than two or three times, then I decide it's probably not that important and just uh, mm. and take it off the list altogether. Yes, sir. But uh, uh, another way I think that I hold myself accountable is I publish, uh, I try to publish, you know, my goals and what I'm doing. Mm. And sometimes that means I tell my wife, sometimes I tell my friends or my coworkers, and then they help to hold me accountable uh, in, in terms of, you know, doing what I said that I was I was going to do. And that, that seems to be really helpful. That's really important. I mean, we talk about that a lot on our team mm-hmm. and in, in psychology about um, how vital it is to get other people involved in your personal goals. Because if you keep them to yourself, um, you can sometimes give yourself the benefit of the doubt or let them slide a little bit when other things seem more important. But uh, like you said, by letting people... Uh, know what your goals are, they help hold you accountable too. I think that's great. Yeah. Yeah, Chief, what are some possible obstacles that could hinder you from kind of achieving these areas? Uh, I would say all the obstacles, frankly, are internal. Okay. Uh, Because there will always be something. There will always be another meeting. There will always be a Mm -hmm. time when you don't feel like going to the gym or you don't feel mm-hmm. like eating the right things. There will always be some external obstacle, um, but the, the most dangerous obstacles are internal. And, uh, yes, and so that's where you have to have a little bit of faith and a lot of strength and, and resilience to be able to you know push through whatever those tough times are as much as you may not want to have a shake in the morning for mm-hmm. uh, a protein shake for breakfast or get up and go to the gym when it's cold. Um, nothing's really stopping you except your own uh, uh, internal motivation. And so, you know, I try to, and that's why, I, I, you know, I don't focus on the weather or the traffic or, you know, what they're serving at any particular restaurant. I focus on, you know, internally the things that I can control and then I make sure I take care of those and, uh, and, and try not to make excuses for, for not getting after whatever goals I set for myself. Thank you, Chief. Does Team 18 have any goals they want to accomplish together in 2019? So, ironically, you know, we're meeting today. So we have, uh, you know, Mm. kind of first team meeting today. I've been out of the office uh, for almost a month with the the travel and some other things uh, uh, abroad. Uh, So we'll kind of talk through some of the things that we want to accomplish. You know, we always have a goal of uh, making sure we can provide the best service and support possible for all of our enlisted airmen, but uh, we'll, we'll see what the team comes up with uh, collectively in terms of goals for 2019. Awesome. So it's kind of like a stay tuned, huh? Stay tuned, yeah. yeah awesome. Yeah. Awesome. 
Um, so when we look at the, op- the, the goals that you have set for yourself, and, and you mentioned that you kind of, you know, speak out loud, you know, give your wife some of the goals that you're looking for. What other support do you lean to? Um, I know you mentioned some of the pillars as far as real social and spiritual. But what are some other um, support that you, you rely on? Yeah, so the biggest external sources of support would, would be uh, primarily my wife and then my friends, my friends and my, and my teammates. Uh, They're the ones who, like I said, encourage me. They're the ones who I turn to when things aren't going so well. They're the ones I turn to when I need a a shoulder to lean on. Uh, They're the ones who smack me upside the head when they see me not doing what I'm supposed to do. And uh, and so I would say that's, you know, between my wife, uh, my teammates, Team 18, and then, uh, you know, my my extended circle of of friends, um, you know, that's really the support that's most meaningful uh, to me. That's awesome. Outstanding, Chief. So let's say we've got airmen listening out there who have some of these same goals as you for 2019. They want to focus more on their faith or their family or their fun or their fitness. What advice would you give to them? Um, I I would say in each one of those areas, uh, kind of define, you know, start with, hey, what is it exactly that you want to either uh, achieve or improve upon or what have you. Uh, just having a, a general, hey, I want to be better at fitness is, is you know, um, I, I think the moniker we, we like to use is having smart goals. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I think you have to kind of hone in on exactly what it is you're trying to to achieve. And, uh, and then I always say think big and focus small. Uh, okay. So you may want to lose, you know, 25 pounds uh, this year, but you can't lose them all this week. And so focus on the, the small things that you can do, getting to the gym, eating right, getting the right amount of sleep. Yeah. Uh, and I think that would be helpful. It is in however many areas you have, and if you have just one area, that's fine. Uh, mm-hmm. Kind of define, hey, what exactly is it that, that I want to accomplish in this particular area? And then, you know, take those small steps on a, on a, on a daily basis to, to get after whatever that goal is. Awesome. That's great, Chief. I'm glad you mentioned SMART goals, you know, the SMART acronym, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and trackable. That is such a helpful um, roadmap for achieving goals. But, you know, we, we talk a lot about goals, and I'm sure many airmen have heard the, the SMART acronym before and maybe have become so inundated with it that they uh, just kind of tone it out now. Could you tell us maybe what are the risks of not setting goals and being intentional about them? Yeah, so the risk of not setting goals is that you lose focus. And, mm-hmm. you know, you sometimes you, you have the potential to end up uh, all over the place or at some point, particularly when things get hard. Uh, and, you know, losing weight is kind of one of the easiest ones that most of us set, uh, you know, on a, sure. on a very regular yeah. basis. If you just decide, hey, I want to lose some weight, uh, and you don't have a particular goal in mind or a reason, reason behind it, uh, at some point, it'll become challenging, either the eating or the exercising or what have you, um, and and then you'll lose focus, and, and then you might decide, you know, this, you know, wasn't that important anyway. I, I've lost uh, two pounds, and, and that's probably good enough. Hmm. Uh, so, so, so I think if you don't have some some specific, measurable, uh, attainable, um, you know, the smart goals like we talked about, like you talked about. Uh, then you, there, there's a chance that you'll kind of get lost, you'll lose focus, and you won't achieve mm-hmm. uh, whatever it is you're trying to get to. That's great. Thank you, Chief. On that note, how would you encourage others to remain steadfast and focused on their goals, even when those goals may seem a little bit unachievable? So I would, I would say... Um, and this enters into the realm of uh, what I would consider a good goal, and that's kind of a stretch goal. So you don't, you certainly don't want to set something that's unattainable, unachievable. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, there is a fine balance between, you know, being tough and a stretch goal. Like, man, this is going to be really hard. It is, is, is tough, but not impossible, and and something that 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 clearly, you know, you, you can get to and can end up being demotivating. So the first thing is make sure that you find that right balance between what's a stretch goal and what's actually, you know, uh, achievable and doable uh, for you. And then if you 
implement those strategies we talked about. If you publish them to your friends, if you, uh, um, you know, if you are intentional about achieving those goals, if you kind of establish a roadmap for exactly what you want to do, if you accept that um, setbacks and and barriers sometimes self-inflicted are really all part of the process. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've never really set a goal and then, you know, had smooth sailing, just went right to it. And if I did, then it probably wasn't a a tough enough goal Mm -hmm. uh, for me. So I kind of expect that time will get in the way. Uh, Other priorities will get in the way. Um, My lack of motivation sometimes Mm -hmm. will, will, will set me back. And I just accept that that's part of the process. And I try to keep my head up, shoulders back and just keep moving toward uh, those goals. And and, and the small steps really, really help. Uh, Hmm. You know, seeing that progress on a a daily basis sometimes is is very, very helpful. That's a great point, Chief, Um, especially because we want our goals to be challenging. And if we set them too easy, then we can lose focus or we won't be motivated. And so that challenge actually gives us an opportunity for growth and to encounter those obstacles and learn how how to get past them. So I think that's that's great advice, especially to trying to find a way where you can track it regularly and see yourself progress, or conversely, not progress and know that you need to make some course correction to get on the back on the right path. Sir, with a lot of people setting kind of New Year's resolutions or goals for 2019, um, a lot of people forget to wrap up their 2018. Uh, do you have anything that you haven't quite wrapped up or are wrapping up for 2018 to move into 2019? Um, not really. Uh, so <laughs> I, yeah, I, feel, I feel like we had a pretty good year in, in 2018 and awesome. uh, really ready to, to move on. Uh, awesome. So whatever uh, things we, we, <laughs> we left on the table, uh, I won't say they'll, they, they won't die on the vine, obviously, but but, uh, you know, some of the things we'll continue working on into, into 2019. But uh, for the most part, I, I felt like we had a pretty good year, and, and I'm really ready to focus uh, going forward now and not look back too much on, on what we did or didn't accomplish last year. That's awesome. So for us, all listeners, if you could describe 2018 in three words, how would you describe it? Uh, 2018 in three words, I would say, was... Uh, uh, pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and Love sir, it. How about, uh, what do you want your 2019 to be in three words? Uh, huh. 2019 in three words, I would say uh, right now, work in progress. Okay. All right. I like so, it. So, uh, you know, I feel like in terms of, as a, from a personal and a professional standpoint, you know, as a chief master in the Air Force, my goal is to always, always be in a state of improvement, always trying to get better. Awesome. And, um, you know, you never feel like you've arrived and you've done everything you can you can do. Um, but, but I'm always, you know, leaving it all on the field and, and trying to get better and trying to make things better for our Air Force and our Airmen. So I would say a work in progress is a pretty good description. That's awesome, Chief. Um, so one last question for you. Uh, what are some of the questions that you haven't been asked by members? I know you tour all over and you talk to everybody that you can. Um, so what are some of the questions that haven't been asked that you wish someone would ask you? Hmm. Well, I, I, I get a lot of questions. So, uh, <laughs> I'll bet. so we might know enough. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know that... Uh, there's there's many questions uh, out there that haven't been asked, <laughs> but uh, I'll tell you one of my favorite questions is when people ask what I'm reading, uh, mm-hmm. because I, I think it's, uh, you know, part of the growth process is learning, reading, listening to podcasts uh, such as yours, and uh, so I'm always excited to share uh, books or, or the things that, that I'm doing to, to, to grow. So. Yes, sir. Well, thank you so much, sir. We really appreciate it. We don't want to take up any more time. We feel just honored that we got this much time as it is. Um, And so any last words for our listeners before we let you go? Well, first, let me say thank you to you and your team. It's uh, it's an honor to uh, be with you again, and hopefully in the next uh, couple of months we can can do this again. Yes, sir. But uh, 
uh, I would say to all the listeners out there, uh, you know, first and foremost, decide what it is that you want to be, uh, mm-hmm. not just this year, but in life and, 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 and in your career. And then get busy going after it. You know, I'll, I'll quote uh, my, one of my favorite books, um, uh, The Alchemist, and the author Paolo Coelho, who says, uh, yes, once sir. you decide what it is that you want to be, the entire universe conspires to help you achieve it. Mm. And, uh, oh, so all yes, you have sir. to do is decide. And then uh, the universe, to include myself and, and your team and everybody else, will pitch right in and, and help you achieve whatever goals you might have. So, Awesome. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, no, thank you guys. Happy New Year. Thank Happy you. New Year, Happy Chief. New Year, Chief. Thank, thank you. You have a great day. All right. All right, thank you. Bye. Bye. Well, that's The Pillars, the podcast um, for the 363rd. If you have any feedback or comments, we'd love to hear from you. And thanks for watching.